Hi everyone, so in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this, this really cool Christmas ornament that you can customize with your own initial or whatever design you want. And we're gonna do this using the Scrib 3D P2 pen. Um, this post is not sponsored. I bought this pen myself on Amazon and I just wanna show you uh, what you can do with this pen. The link to the template is gonna be in the YouTube description and I'll also link to some of my other 3D pen tutorials. 3D pens are a great way to do some crafts at home of course as an adult, but for kids, they're really fun too, as long as you make sure to supervise with the hot end here. Okay, so let's get started with our template here. So this is the holiday ornament template. It is gonna be found, the link to this is gonna be found in the YouTube description. You can download this for free from my website. And I have laminated this template. I think it's really helpful to laminate the templates because then when you're using the 3D pen, the filament just peels off the paper so easily. It makes it easier for your designs. Laminators are super cheap on Amazon. I'll link you one in the description. But if you don't have a laminator, you could also use uh, packing tape to um, cover up your paper design. So we've got three options here. We've got just the blank ornament, we've got the stocking, and we have our star here. So let's start here with the blank ornament. So just to give you an idea, you can actually use a whiteboard or a dry erase marker to customize this design. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So for example, you could put potentially the year in here, or you could put some decorations on your ornaments. Obviously, I'm just moving quickly here, but you can choose whatever design you want. I'm going to personalize my ornament with the first letter of my name today. You could do your whole name, but just keep in mind it actually is pretty tricky to do fine details with a 3D pen. So if you're just a beginner, I would suggest going with a big version of the first letter of your name. It'll make it a lot easier and it still will be a nice personalized ornament for your tree. So I'm going to go with my K there. And so there's my dry erase template done and I can keep customizing that if I want. Okay, so we're going to be using the Scrib 3D P1 today. This is their basic model. It's really affordable. I'll link it in the description. I really like this 3D pen considering the price. It's very functional and it has a lot of great features. I'll link to my full review of the pen as well. So we'll get started with the pen today. I am going to first load the filament. So you stick the filament into the filament hole here and then you press the forward button on the pen you'll feel the filament extruding through the pen. It takes about 30 seconds for it to fully extrude through the pen. And you'll start to see it come out. Then the technique with the pen is to make pretty good contact with the paper at about a 45 degree angle. I'm left-handed, so I like to go uh, bottom up, but if you're right-handed, you may be the opposite. And so you can see with this line, like it was a little bit clumpy here on both ends. That's because it's coming out pretty fast at the beginning and I'm not yet catching up with my speed. Um, you can adjust the speed that the filament comes out on this pen by shifting here. So I'll just try to get a nice line there. And again, you want it to stick nicely to the paper, which it does here, and then it can easily peel off at the end. So let's get going with our letter. And again, I'm just going to go bottom up because I'm left-handed. So I didn't get the greatest, um, I didn't press hard enough into the paper there, so I'm just going to redo that. Okay, and so now I'm going to fill in my outline right here. I'm just going to do a back and forth motion with the pen.
Okay, I have a few little extra strings. I'm gonna use a pair of uh, tweezers to clip those off. You, if you pull with your hands, I have run into the uh, unfortunate um, circumstances of pulling the entire print off the paper. So best to use tweezers for any loose strings that you have. So I've filled in my K here. I'm also gonna fill in the top here with green and then we're gonna do the rest in red. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to switch to my red filament. So I'm going to press the unload button here. And you can see that my filament is unloading. Now I'll take my red, give myself a little bit of leeway, and then I will press forward to have this one load. Again, it'll take about 30 seconds for it to load and you'll probably see a little bit of the green filament first. Okay, so we have our red now, and what I'm gonna do is start again by outlining. And then this one, I am simply going to do big strokes back and forth across this print to fill in with red. Okay, so here is my design. So you can see it here on my uh, laminated template and I'm just letting it cool, but I'm gonna peel it off and you're gonna see how easy it is to peel off. I probably could do a second layer if I wanted to to make the ornament a little bit stronger, but I think the first uh, one layer will be fine for this activity. So I'm gonna easily peel it off the paper, which is again, what I love about using the laminated template. So here is the final product. So I really am happy with how it turned out. Again, you can customize this however you want. If you want to get more detailed, if you want to try your full name, again, just keep in mind that the more detailed you get, the harder it's going to be to control your 3D pen. I'm actually happy with how it turned out with just one layer. I think it looks great and it's going to look great on my tree. I'm just going to attach a little hook here and then I'll hang it on my tree. And I'm of course going to get my kids to do one with their initials. Um, and we're going to have some nice new ornaments for the family tree. I uh, love this 3D pen project. Don't forget to check the link in the description for the free template, which you can get on my website. And I'll also leave a link to this pen, which is the Scrib 3D P2, uh, which was used for this craft today. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.